Hi there, everybody. Welcome back to part three of Among the Sleep, a uh, indie game that's not free, unfortunately, but the demo is uh, that you can get from Steam for $19.99 right now. Um, it's uh, a, a really well-made game so far from what I've seen and everything, and the demo is quite long. Um, unfortunately, I didn't know my first two parts, uh, and I should have said it before. Um, it. I'm not exactly sure how the save mechanics work, but I just had to run through the game entirely, you know, uh, up to the same point that I was at last time real quick. <laughs> so, so, we had something really scary jump out. Oh, well, actually, what I should be telling you is the synopsis of the game again, I guess, huh? Yeah. Some people might start in the middle of a Let's Play, and you go, okay. Basically, you play a toddler who has been woken up in the middle of the night, and you can't find your teddy bear. And the house is all dark. Uh, there's it's stormy weather outside, and you can't find your mom. You're looking for your mother. Uh, and you you uh, find your teddy bear who talks to you, and you're looking for your mom. Now that sounds like something really cute, you know? Oh, you know, it's a really cute game for little kids or something. This is not a game for little kids. This is very creepy and very scary. Um, I know it's hard to believe, but it's just, they did a really good job. This game creeps me out. I'm like, <laughs> it makes me want to go find my mommy. So, um, so we got into your parents' bedroom where your mom was supposed to be sleeping, only she wasn't on the bed. It was empty. We heard scary sounds and stuff like that. So we wandered back into the living room, and there was a jump scare. Uh, some specter-looking thing that I didn't stick around to get a close look at. So I ran into the uh, the hutch that's in the middle of the island of, in the kitchen and closed the door and I, I hid here. So, so and this is where I am. And so now I'm going to pick up from here and see how far it goes. Like I said, I'm, I'm amazed at how long this demo is. So, so enough jabbering by me. Let us resume. Oh, Teddy, I don't like this, Teddy. I don't like this, Teddy. Oh. That was very scary looking. Hey, the TV's not on anymore. I don't like crescendoing music in any game. It's normally indi indicative of something bad getting ready to happen. Here, it's there's like a woman's voice singing. It's getting louder. Moms, mom, mommy, can we get up here? Who we get up on the piano? Let's see, there's a piano here. Maybe hard for you guys to see. Of course, she wouldn't know how to play the piano. You know, a mother singing to her baby is normally a very comforting sound, but for some reason, this is creeping me out. Mommy, 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 what is that? Oh. Mom, is that you? What in the world? Drums, or is that... I'm hearing that rain again? Is that rain? That's a light. We can move things. But what is that? What are those? What? Well, you know, as a toddler, as a grown person, I would be like... <laughs> but as a toddler, something like this might fascinate you. Oh. Ooh, what is this? Yeah, that's what I asked, Teddy. What is it? What? What? 
is bubbles! Square bubbles, but bubbles. Is that your mom down there? Is this like going down to the basement of your house? <laughs> Can you see your reflection? Boots. It's her, but it, it seems more like a memory. memory. Is a paint easel? Is that your mom? Mom? She's holding something. It looks like a pocket watch or a pendant. And apparently we're supposed to click on it, so... Oh, mommy! Use a tab to open up inventory. What is this place? It sounds like her voice is coming from this too. Where? What is this place? See pipes up there in the wall. All right, kid. Oh, uh, oh, kid, be careful. Uh, oh, I hope we didn't hurt the poor baby. I don't want to hurt some poor baby. Oh, oh hey, I'm up. Are you all right? All right, man. I would, oh my God, you're walking now. The first you talk, now you're walking. Uh. Whoa. What is this place? Oh, but you're cute looking. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, I'm a 47-year-old man. I'm a grandpa. I get really grouchy when I haven't had my coffee. I spent 10 years in the United States Navy. I was in the first Persian Gulf War, you know? And I can be a real, real mean person when I need to. But that's cute. Because my favorite comic strip was Calvin and Hobbes. Still, though, that, that, that just kind of freaked me out. Okay, Teddy, hey, do I have to pick you up? Are you going to follow me? Do I have to pick you back up? Yours just... Okay, you freaked me out at first, but now you're cute as a butt. Aw, oh, he giggled. Oh, yeah. Okay, come on, Teddy. You and me. We're going to... We're going to go figure out where we are. This is where all my missing blocks went. I've been looking for all my missing blocks. You know? Because I used to have two M's so I could spell mom, man. And now I'm missing one of my M's. See, there it is. There's that extra M. Because lately I've been calling mom Mo, and I don't think she appreciates it. So. Okay. Ooh. 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 You know, uh, okay, I don't know how many of you out there watching this have kids. Okay, I know a lot of you that are my friends and stuff have kids. So you know how toddlers, you know, you know, ha 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 plop, ha 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 plop. And now this toddler is fixing in his BJs, in his snuggly, with the really slick bottom feet that are made to go whoosh, out from underneath you, down this board, over this. Playhouse? What's that doing here? I'm more worried about that bottomless crevice. I like how the teddy bear sounds like, uh, he sounds like, you know, a wise and old friend, you know. Like Teddy. I had a Snoopy. Carried him with me for like, until I think I was 11, man. 10 or 11. Ooh, that's interesting. Well, this part doesn't look so, I mean, the whole game's still creepy, but this don't look too creepy. Is it locked? I might be able to open it from the inside if you help me up. Okay, Teddy, I'll help you up. That's cool. I could have used one of these guys when I was a kid. Too bad my Snoopy didn't walk around and do stuff for me. Whoa, look at this place. I will as soon as I can come in. What is it, man? You are just too cute. Hey, this is cool. Listen, this there it is again. What, what is? 
It sounds like it's coming from behind this door. There must be a way to open it. It seems like these are connected somehow. Uh, I'm sorry, Tay, I'm looking at my drop. Tay, what are you doing? Maybe it requires some sort of key. Is there anything we can use? Yes? Oh! The, it's an amulet, okay. Alright, what did that do? Oh, do we? Okay, I guess we close the door. And now we turn. Uh, all right, hang on, folks. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, uh. What happened? Why didn't it open? Uh, I don't know. Hmm. You tell me. Oh, Let's wait. Let's find a way to open it. Like my paws might fit. Okay, we'll see. Be careful now. Uh -huh. Aha! It's a button. Oh. That's it. Cool. See, teddy bears come here. It seems like the memory you share with her unlocked the door. Huh. Maybe if we can find more memories like this, it might bring us to her. I like how they dotted each other. It looks with like we need three more. Three more members. I wonder where this will take us. Well, be quiet. Let me pick you up. And we'll to be find honest, out. It scares me a bit. It scares you. You're just but a stuffed worry. animal. I'll do my best to keep you safe. Oh, thank you. Pick uh... me up whenever you're ready to go. All right, we'll pick you up. See, not all teddy bears are evil and trying to shove you into animatronic bodies. Look at Freddy's. <laughs> that game was nerve wracking. If you haven't seen any of my Five Nights at Freddy videos, check them out, especially part two. That was the most tension building I have ever felt in any game, man. Oh, we're gonna go to that slide again. Okay, whee! Don't you guys like slides? I loved slides when I was a kid. They were cool. Uh, that's the end of the demo, folks, so. Um, uh, if you want the game, and I really want this game, it's just, you know, I have other priorities right now, like food, bills, gas for the car, power, internet. It, internet's important because that's how my phone works, and it's also how I teach homeschool my son, Josh, you know, so. But, if you guys are interested in this game, you know, you can buy it, can't afford it right now, put it on your wish list. Like I said, Steam holds deals all the time, you never know. And you might get it cheaper than the $19.99 that it is right now. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play, this demo. I did. Um, it, like I said, very creepy and scary. But that part right there wasn't too too bad. It was more like an adventure game. I imagine that we're going to find some more creepy and scary stuff later on. Uh, if I get this game and play it through. So, Alright, everyone. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.